Hi, I'm Ava Unifore. Oh, Ava's showing his face, so collection here. If you watch my channel, my YouTube channel, oh, there it is right there. If you watch my channel, you've seen me before. I also actually have appeared on Collection DX. If you watch the, was it, Proto Toku Show DX, or no, what was it? I can't think of what it was called, but it had J-Man and it had, uh, uh, was it Luis? I can't think of it. Since I say it, if you, you watch their, I think it's their prototype episode two, you can see I'm on there. And I'm basically doing this. For about a half hour. Not my, not the best way for me to intro myself to the internet, at least with my face. Not the best way to introduce myself. But if you watch my channel, there it is right there, uh, you've actually seen me a couple of times. Anyways, um, I feel uh, I've actually been meaning to do this kind of video for a while now, but I just I just I felt there was there was a little too much vanity involved to make a video that's about me as opposed to a video about the toys that I review. You know, those guys back there, for example, and down there and right across the screen and. Uh, I picked this up, uh, what was it, three weeks ago? $190. But, I mean, $190 for a G1, what are you thinking? Well, the difference is it came with all the accessories. 100, $190 is still kind of rough, but considering I've never seen one in the flesh since the 80s. So, I am still collecting. But, uh, I, I, I felt like it would be selfish of me to abuse a CDX video and just say, oh, it's about me, as opposed to being about the reviews, because Josh might complain about it, or someone else might complain about it. Hey, Eva, your videos are too long. Well, oh, shut up. I've gotten over that long ago. I don't care. I, I review what's comfortable for me. If I think that I've covered everything I need to, not everything that exists out there, I have a tendency to, what's the word? I digress really easily. But on the other hand, if I don't get it just right, it's that Asperger's syndrome that's talking here, that high-functioning autism. If I don't get it just right, and I don't get it right on the first try, so getting it right is always an issue. But, sorry, awkward cut. See what I mean about being a perfectionist on video? But uh, a recent comment, um, the video review for DX uh, Shuriken Gate Shuriken Jin from uh, Shuriken Sentai Ninja was just posted like a half hour ago to Collection DX's YouTube channel. And one of the early comments is from Freak80MC, who says, and I quote, I'm sad now, because Ava sounded like he was going to love this thing when he looked at the preview images. And it made me, and many others watching this video, hope that he would return to Collection DX to review the mecha from the Nin Ninja Live. But sadly, this never happened. Frowning face. Hopefully he reviews the toys on his channel instead. Well, I, I, I posted a comment. And, you know, we'll see how many people respond to it. But then, as I was typing, it's like, you know, that's not good enough. It's not good enough for me to just type to one person a, a comment that's going to get buried beneath everybody else who's commenting on, on the Shirk Engine, and you're never going to notice it. Because, you know, how often do people actually read all the comments before they post a comment? It's... okay. But anyways, um, Freak ADMC, he kind of motivated. He, he's the one who kind of punched me in the gut hard enough, like, okay, but you got to do something. you got to say something. you got to... It's not enough anymore that you just sit there and... You're not saying anything to anybody. And this has been happening for three, almost three and a half years now. The last review, before the, before the Power, yeah, by the way, in case you guys haven't noticed, I've done a pair of Power Rangers Turbo videos, or video reviews, and a text, and a text review. Um, th th there was a reason I was going with Turbo. And it's, you know, not just the fact that, you know, I've got our Teletron right here for, you know, I actually got this guy at the same time that I got Computron. Um, I actually have been meaning to review this guy for a while. He's, he's, uh, he's actually secondhand. You can tell by the little antenna here. It's melted, partially melted. And, uh, he's got some, he's got some stuff here. I don't know what that is. So, th this is secondhand. I got this secondhand. 
Yes, I've got Artillotron, and I've got everything, you know, I've got the arms and everything. He didn't come with any accessories. He is the accessory, because, okay, he's, he's actually going to be the next one I'm going to review, guaranteed, I think. But for the last three years now, I think the one before that was from Power Ranger Samurai, or Super Samurai, as I like to call it. I don't know what it is, but uh, the last one I reviewed was the, uh, the Swordfish Zord from Power Rangers Samurai. The, uh, and I'll say it right now, uh, that was definitely a series where I was taking one for the team. Like, I hated reviewing all those things, but I had just come off of the Shinkinger stuff, and so I was like, Ava, can you, can you, are, are you going to review Samurai, or Samurai, Ava, it's, Samurai is so bad, you have to review it. I'm not one of those people, I don't get toys or review, I don't get toys, let alone review them, if they're bad. I don't do that very often. As a matter of fact, a lot of the toys that I didn't like, or, or some of the toys that I didn't like in reviews, uh, uh, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Leader Class Jetfire, um, I sold him, finally. I sat on him for years, I finally sold him. Um, the um, the Shoto phone from Shinkinger, that cell phone that acted like a... You guys know what the Shoto phone is, because it totally wasn't in Power Rangers Samurai. Um, I got rid of that, you know, and, and I wasn't, like, I got rid of some other things, even some stuff I didn't review. I had a, um, yeah. So, and, and, and Samurai was just kind of the place where I stopped. I'd actually been in a bit of a nosedive that year, which was 2011. Uh, I had some real, uh, some hard-hitting emotional punches that year, and I'm... And while I've always kind of been floating with depression, uh, undiagnosed until last year, um, I'd never really kind of, whoop, until 2011. Because uh, like I said, 11 was very, or 2011 was very emotionally draining for me. Um, and after my sister's wedding in summer of that year, um, my mother, father, and I, we all just kind of, huh, it's over. All the prep work we've been doing is finally over. And my parents, they picked themselves up again, but I didn't well, pick themselves up again. I mean, like, like they, they, you know, we, we, we took about three, we took about a three week break from just everything. We just lasered and we didn't give a. <laughs> but, um, I was, uh, but, but I, on the other hand, I struggled. I did leader class, um, what was it called? Well, the, the very first one I did was, um, what was it? The Big Bad Toy Store exclusive Piranacon. That was my first review after the wedding. Um, and then I did, and then I reviewed uh, Dark of the Moon Leader Class Ironhide, which I wasn't really thrilled with, but I still kept it. I got it, I got it uh, custom painted by Ziltrex Millennium, which which it's still a great paint job, even though it's currently collecting dust. <laughs> Tells you how much I treat my toys, or how well I treat my toys. But um, And then Samurai came along, and it just kind of, through the whole thing. And I made this great little teaser trailer, and it, it, it wasn't, like, I wasn't even thrilled with the trailer. It, it just didn't, it didn't impress me. So, I've been meaning to, like, like my intentions were all well and good. I'm like, what, what are you going to do after Power Rangers Samurai? I don't know, because I'm kind of done with Power Rangers. Like, it, it, well, that's not strictly true now. Um, uh, in case you're wondering, I have been watching for the first time since 2004 was, uh, no, I'm sorry, 2005 was the last time I dedicated myself to a Power Rangers series. That was, that was Power Rangers SPD. Uh, the previous year, I switched to Super Sentai and I really haven't looked back. 2015, Power Rangers Dino Charge is the first time in 11 years that I've watched a, power, a brand new a, a series as it's happening, and not just depending on other people or just reading about what I have been watching. Dino Charge, not bad. Like it, it, it's like I I digress. Uh, yeah, Di Dino Charge is I'm impressed. Like it it took a lot of effort to get me to watch Dino Charge, and people are enthusiastic. Like it's got good editing. The acting is respectable enough. For a Power Rangers series, um, there aren't so many hanging wires, 
and they're also not as dependent on the Japanese fighting footage as they used to be. But it's not so much wire foo anymore either, where the hanging actors all over the place. And the colored explosions that happen behind them as opposed to always, as sometimes. So Dino Charge, I'm, I'm actually watching it. I've got it on DVR, and uh, I'm watching that right now. So am I going to get any of the toys? Um, from Kyoryuji, I regret not getting the shotgun thing you could make. You know, there was a sword and the gun. You put the two together, and it makes a giant shotgun. I might get that. It's kind of different for the for for a good reason that it's got a light built into the blade of the sword. So that, that's kind of cool. I like that. Um, am I going to be review? Am I going to? Am I going to get any of the uh, um, any any of the swords? Probably not, because I wasn't thrilled with them. Any of them, anyways, to begin with. But so I got I got to backtrack a little bit here. Artillotron, I've had you for four months now, and you're already collecting dust. Jesus, what's wrong with me? But since 2011, I haven't been able to pick myself up. 2011 was also the year I started playing SD Gundam Capsule Fighter online, which I'd known about Gundam all my life, because uh, thanks to my dad who got me started on it. Um, and he, he collected Gunpla, although weirdly he didn't build them, he, which is basically what I've modeled myself after, unfortunately. Uh, but, you know, he collected magazines, and they had screenshots in there, and blah, 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 blah. I didn't go to many conventions, you know, so I wasn't exposed to, the, exposed to it there. But, you know, I knew about Gundam. And 2011 was the first time where I really got to expose myself to the franchise. Like, I, I, I had to look at it from the sidelines, and not even the sidelines. I had to watch it from up in the rafters. Or I had to view the franchise from up in the rafters. I, I'd never seen... Gundam with my own eyes until 2011, where I saw all of Mobile Suit Gundam 00. Fantastic! That that was my first Gundam ever. Okay, so if if it's low rated Gundam, I'm a fanboy, and I apologize, and my taste is very poor, and the standards are very low. If 00 is considered a bad show, which by the way it's not, it's actually considered one of the better ones. I don't care if it's a remake of Wing. It worked a hell of a lot better than Wing. Shut up. So I saw Double O in, in the movie. Um, I've even got a couple of models. Why? Why am I doing this right now? I don't know. Um, I got I got SD Double O Quanta. <coughs> I've also got Master Grade Double O Quanta. I've got. I regretfully saw the the disaster that was Seed and Seed Destiny. Seed was better. The, or, I'm sorry, Destiny was better than Seed. Um, and I got my, actually got my very first Master Grade, which was the, uh, let's see, which one was it? Master Grade, Master Grade, Sword Impulse Gundam. Master Grade, Sword Impulse Gundam. So, yeah, and, and by the way, they're both still sitting in the box right there, so. Um, but those aren't the only Gundam kits I've gotten. Those are just the first Master Grade kits I've gotten, but they're not actual. Um, in, but, but, but anyways, Double O, watch it. Um, I've also been watching, uh, I've also been watching Build Fighters, uh, and, and Build Fighters Try, which is about to end, it's, we're about, we, we just saw episode 22, and it goes out to 25, I think, so, um, I'm watching Build Fighters Try, and I'm hoping for a third season, um, but SD Gundam Capsule Fighter was my first exposure to it, I got to play with all the mobile suits that I'd seen and heard about, uh, you know, over the, over the decades, I got to do that, yay! Um, this is totally blocking my light, isn't it? Oh, that's what Ava looks like. Uh, and, and, you know, I got to AWSD and mouse click and stuff through SDGO for three and a half years now. I started November 2011, and I was watching Double O concurrently with that. Um, it's, it's third-person shooter, which... I'd actually left a, another MMO third-person shooter a uh, number of years earlier. Cause it was just too fast-paced. It was it was Twitch gaming, I think, is what it's called, which which I can't do. Uh, with hands that act like this all the bloody time, get off there. With with hands that are like this, uh, and and by the way, people have asked me, what is this? Um, it's it's not degenerative. I was born with this, okay, and I have this all the time. It depends on my stress level. It depends on 
how recently I've eaten. Like it's it's eleven forty. I haven't had breakfast, so it's a little more exaggerated than usual here. And and I'm not I'm not forcing it. This this is me flapping intentionally. Okay, I'm just holding my hand perfectly still, level. The shake is there. Everybody has this. Everybody has this. It's just in me, and and it's it, it's hereditary. So I got it from my dad, um, who got it from his dad, who got it from. I think my great grandmother had it. I'm not sure. So, uh, but yeah, this is hereditary. Runs in the family. It doesn't come from my mom's side. I know that. There's nobody on my mom's side who has that. But uh, depending on my stress level or my anxiety level, this will become more exaggerated or not. Oh, so that's what that is. Okay. You ain't got Parkinson's or anything? No, no, no. If I had Parkinson's, uh, I wouldn't be able to talk, and I w I'd be. No offense. I'd be doing that. Uh, and it's not Lou Gehrig's disease. I, I knew somebody uh, who had, well, I didn't know him. I knew him through email only. I knew someone who had Lou Gehrig's disease, and he died from it. Uh, he died from it three years ago, matter of fact. So, um, what was I talking about? That's another thing I have to deal with my mind going blank once in a while. That's the Asperger's talking, where you just go, uh, I had this great buildup going, and, and what was I talking about? The, uh, STGO. Um, so STGO caps have captivated me. I get to interact with that universe. Uh, you don't have to know Gundam in order to play STGO, but it certainly helps. But it wasn't just that. It was also I joined up with a clan in STGO. Uh, my old clan from my X Steel days, well, Clan Okami. Uh, it's it's not entirely. It's not the well. I'm basically the only holdout from X Steel who or STGO X Steel. Or, no, from X Steel Okami who is still playing SDGO. Although, recently I discovered Guild Wars 2. Bought it on sale for 15 bucks. Not bad. I started playing, what, last week? Not bad. I like it. Um, it, it it's different. I've never, I've never done that kind of MMO before, so it's, an, it's a new genre for me. Uh, I'm, I'm interested. I'm level 22, I think. I've only been playing for a week, so I don't know if... I'm, I'm liking it. I'm actually not playing SDGO right now, so I guess that's good. But um, I've been playing SDGO for, for three and a half years, and there's mechanics in the game that I dislike. My graphics card, actually, I don't have a graphics card. I have integrated graphics in my, my, my machine. This computer, by the way, nobody knows this, or at least I haven't talked about it. This machine came from Collection DX. They bought this computer for me. Um, they bought it to run Windows Movie Maker and to research on the internet, which it does very well. Oh, Movie Maker, I, I need to update, or I, I need new video editing software, because Movie Maker has just become so constricting because of that copyright stuff. Um, and, and it's basically the only thing you can run the, the Windows 7 version of Movie Maker is basically webcam footage or footage that you've shot. They won't let you throw pictures in there. They won't let you throw videos from somewhere else. They Hell, they even restrict you on what kind of music you can use because Movie Maker automatically assumes that you're importing it from somewhere else. Like, ah, uh, ah, uh, you can't use that video. You can't, nah, nah, you can't. Nah, nah. You're plagiarizing. Nah. This is what I think of your plagiarizing rules, YouTube, and Windows Movie, okay? You're number one when it comes to plagiarizing rules. Okay. So I need to update to a new editing software. Um, and I, I've known that even before 2011. Like, I, I need something new. Uh, I also need to, you'll also notice in my, uh, uh, my Turbo Megazord Rescue Megazord reviews, my camera is in need of an upgrade. Uh, but I, I just don't have the money for either one of them. I don't have the money for the graphics card that I need to put into this computer to run SDGO properly. Um, oh yeah, I was actually talking about SDGO a moment ago. So, alright, I won't talk about SDGO. Anyways, I've been wrapped up in SDGO, but I've also been wrapped up with Clan Okami, or at least the people who are in SDGO Okami, because I get to talk to people about Gundam, which is cool, but I also get to talk to people about Power Rangers, Transformers, Kamen Rider, even if I don't want to. Um, what else do we talk about? 
And we've, we, there, there, there's two prominent, uh, Gunpla reviewers on there too. There's, there's Prime92. You know her, her videos. She, she does kind of the behind the, behind the camera, reach around the camera thing that I do. She does unboxing. She does, uh, well, she does some stuff. Uh, but she, she, she also loves Transformers and Power Rangers and Super Sentai and, and, and things like that. So, um, we got her on board there. Uh, she, she actually joined because she was watching my video. She's, she's one of you. She was watching my videos on my channel, and she she saw that she saw that that I was on there, and she hopped on the Okami uh, bandwagon. Great, and then she pulled along with her uh, Strider uh, Strider Prime, who he also has his own YouTube channel. So I, I think I liked it down there as well. So, um, but yeah, we got both of them, and uh, I learned very quickly uh, that uh, Prime ninety two's obsession with Gundam Exia. So. Um, but I get to talk to these people every single day. At first on Ventrilo, and then we we're, we we kind of sort of migrated to Skype. Now we're we're look we're looking for a new touch to talk program that doesn't require one of us to be hosting. And then when that person leaves for the day, we have to call each other again, or somebody else has to host the call. So we're looking for a new program, or we're thinking about a new program. Skype is Skype is convenient. Ventrilo is you have to sign people up. And, um, but I get, but the, but the point was, I get to interact with these people every single day, which for me is important. You know, it's a double-edged sword. I get the social interaction, kind of, the anonymous social interaction that you get through the internet. But on the other hand, I'm not getting out of the house, and I'm not doing the stuff, my uh, my chores and stuff, basically gone to hell. Um, and, and I'm not kidding when I say that. Um, I have. I'm I'm borderline uh, recluse. All day long, all day long, I sit up here at my computer doing my little nerd thing, which used to be an insult nowadays. It's revenge of the nerds kind of stuff. But I sit up here all day long in my uh, on my computer, and I go downstairs for meals, and I might have to empty the dishwasher, and I might have to empty the garbage, and I might have to drive my parents around somewhere. Okay, that's why I'm here. Um. That, that's why I'm here in this house. Um, I'm also here for my reason, for me as well. But my life is very boring. And I'm fighting depression. I'm, I'm fighting some other stuff as well, which, which I won't, which I will not talk about. I refuse. Or I won't, I won't share with you guys. Um, so yeah, that, that's where I am right now. I've got this, this great little thing with SDGO. Well, SDGO. I've got I've got beefs about SDGO. They they've been building over time. I've been meaning to do a, a rant video on that. Uh, I've I've had I have three years worth of material built up, so I need to do a rant video at this point. Uh, that obviously will go onto my channel. So you know, or that'll obviously go onto my channel. But that that's why I haven't been seen for three and a half years on Collection DX. The 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 Turbo reviews. I keep, I keep, Ava, what are you looking at over here? Well, I'm looking at our Teletron. The turbo reviews I've been doing have been an experiment, I'll say. And, and, uh, what, uh, what's that one guy's name? I, I quoted him earlier. Freak ADMC. I, you know, Ava was looking so enthusiastic on his channel. Why didn't he review? As I say as a I say as a disclaimer at the end of every single one of my videos, hey Ava, can you sell that to me? How much does that cost? Can I get that from you? No. No, you can't. Because the stuff we review is not for sale. Or at least the, the, the these are part of our personal collections, okay? No, you can't have it. And 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 I'm being serious when I say that. No, you can't have it. And we say it at the end of every one of our videos. It it, it belongs to the reviewer. Spelling errors, grammar. <coughs> But yeah, we, we basically say in there, the stuff we review is our stuff. Uh, for years, and, and, and everybody on Collection DX has this, everybody who reviews gets samplers, which are free. And we have the obligation, that, or we, we have built, in, built into the, the, the companies that we're getting these sampler, samplers from. We, we may or may not praise it. If we don't praise it, doesn't matter. If we praise it, it as long as we're objective about it, we, we we will review it for you, okay? We'll we'll stick your name on the on the review and say you sent it to us. Thank you, genuinely, sincerely. Thank you. 
Um, but, but, you know, the stuff that we purchase ourselves, you know, no, that's not for sale. Get on my belly. So, so why haven't I reviewed Ninja? Uh, this, this slump that I've been in, this, this reviewing rut that I've been in for about three years now. Um, I saw the Ninja stuff back in November, early December, when we, when, when it, when it came out. Did I say Star Ninja? I meant to say Ninja. I'm sorry. Uh, up to and including Star Ninja stuff, which debuted before the series itself did. What's up with that again? Sixth Ranger getting his, okay. Um, and I love the Ninja stuff. Like, it has absolutely nothing to do, and, and I've already done a, a, a vlog entry on this, on, on the Ninja already. Uh, two of them, actually. Uh, I, I don't, Ninja has absolutely nothing to do with ninjas, except they have something to do with shurikens, which, and, and they're noisy ninjas. Like, they, they don't, okay. You have to watch the show. Uh, I love the stuff they're coming up with. Because it's so wacky and so non-ninja. At this point, I don't care if it's not ninjas. I don't care. It's, it's good Super Sentai. It's, it's, it's not perfect. I still want the, the blocky, chunky armor look. I'm still looking for that. But, you know, Tokyujur, Gosager and, and some others and some things and stuff, even Kyoryujur, just not having my attention, but but Ninja is amazing. The the, the, the stuff that goes, it's it's wacky like um, Hurricane Jr. was. It's wacky, you don't associate wacky with ninjas, but at that point you don't really care. So um I love the Ninja stuff. The Ninja stuff is great. And I love the, the, the little monster alarm that they have in the dojo. It's the Gamma Gamma guns. They're, they're all lined up in a run. They go, Kero, 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 Whenever a monster shows up, that is funny. That's great. It's better than that little bell that would ring with a sign on it. Oh, monster detector. Ding, ding. That's going to get your attention, really. So I have been watching Ninja, and I love it. And why am I not getting the toys? Well, I'm not getting the toys because I'm not. I, I can't afford eighty dollars for for uh, uh, Shuriken Jin. I wish they'd called it an engine. Just just go with it. Just call it an engine, please. Who knows? Maybe that's that's what another mech will will, will be called. Um, but I love the Ninja stuff. I think it's great. Uh, why am I not reviewing it? Which is the reason why I've got this guy sitting in my lap squeaky wheels and all. I am not so arrogant as to think that I can be gone for three and a half years and act as if I'd not been gone. Just pick up the just pick up the toys and just start shooting. Or to, to, to pick up the text. I, I actually created uh, the text and picture and video reviews for uh, Turbo Megazord. We didn't have one. We had a bootleg RV Robo, but we didn't have a, tur a Turbo Megazord, so I did the whole thing. Uh, for those of you on YouTube who don't go to CollectionDX.com and look at my text and picture reviews, you know I do those as well, right? Not always, because the Rescue Megazord was a co-review, which, I t which by the way, I totally forgot to mention that in the, uh, the Rescue Megazord review. But um, the, the, the Turbo reviews including this guy, was and is a test. Not to you guys, but to myself. Because the shooting shelf no longer exists. The shooting shelf used to be right here. It doesn't exist anymore. I've been having to shoot on my bed on top of a, a whiteboard that I put on top of the sheets. Oh, God. It, which, you know, if that's not depressing, I don't know what is. I, I do actually have standards for shooting. Uh, I may not have the the, the technical know how to shoot with a, uh, without you know out of focus and bad lighting and things like that like I can't I can't fix those things I just use house lighting and that's it uh, and I use a camera that I have to pre-focus before I even start shooting and I have to do multiple takes so you know I'm limited by by those things I, I actually I literally don't have room in my room for a photo tent and even if I did the things I shoot are so big that the photo tent would just kind of be I wouldn't be able to shoot that very often anyways 
So, um, I'm restricted by the, the, the techie stuff that I have behind the scenes, obviously. I've actually been thinking of doing some alternate, alternate camera angles, taking this, uh, where I just heard a cricket in my room. That's not creepy. I've actually been thinking of getting an extension cord for the webcam, clipping onto the side of this thing right here, and shooting down at a different angle. Well, A, I have to get an extension cord, an extending UBS cord, or USB cord, um, and then I'd have to find a different angle where you can't see my room, or something along those lines. So, so I'm limited by those technicalities. I'm still collecting. I got this guy. Like, I, I don't, like Artillotron, not up, not high on my priorities list, but I got him, so whatever. I got him for cheap. I got one... $50? $40? Something like that. I got him real cheap. So, you know, whatever. But he, was, he wasn't high on my, my priorities list. Like, e even back in the day, like, mm, okay, Artillotron. Like, it's kind of neat, but whatever. Uh, but I got him finally, so... But, um... So I am still collecting Computron for $190, Titan Class Metroplex a year and a half ago. Um, my second longest unboxing was for Convoy Mode Ava. I was one of the lucky ones, one of the lucky 1,000 people across the world to get one of these things. Never gotten a masterpiece, never gotten a, a, an exclusive repaint. So, you know, that, that was a big deal for me. Uh, I, I think, watch my, it's like an hour and 20 minute, uh, unboxing on this thing. So, yeah. I also explained a little bit there why it is I'm not, not reviewing for Collection DX. It's not, I'm, I, okay. Reviewing for Collection DX, it's not a fallout. It's not a fallout. I'm still on good terms with Josh. He might not like that I'm gone. He might not like that I've delayed putting, that I've delayed some reviews. But I'm not on bad footing. Not at all. No, I, I I still have email addresses. I still have contacts. I still get notices of the Google Hangout staff meetings we have once every like a half year, year, whatever it is. I'm still I'm still on good terms. Uh, yeah. So that that's not the problem. That's that's not the problem at all. But um, it's 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 me. I'm not reviewing because not not because I dislike well. Yeah, that's been part of the problem is, is, uh, 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 Super Sentai, there hasn't been anything for three and a half years that I've been interesting. The Ninja is like the first time in three years. I was basically playing STGO to kill time while Super Sentai caught up with me and everybody else. And now that it happened, I have to get out of that particular rut as well. But, I would sit there with the camera. I, I've tried over the last three years. Well, you haven't tried enough. Shut up. I'd set the camera and I'd just sit there and this is Ava Unifor for CollectionDX.com and this is da, 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 da. and then I would and it's literally like listening to a, an engine that has a, a dead battery or has no gas. You know, it, it, it was like that up in here for me. Like I can't get my reviewing engine going. I'm still collecting. I'm still interested in these things. You know, I put 300 and something into Convoy Mode Ava. I put 190 into Computron. I put 30 into this, which, by the way, I think this was originally 50, 40, something like that. This was real cheap, even for a carrier nowadays. I can't get my reviewing engine started. And, and I've been hearing you guys for three years, three and a half years now. Ava, please come back. Ava, please come back. I want to come back. I want to do the reviewing because it's really of the few things I've done in my life. That's the stuff I'm really proud of, like really, really proud of, that I can do those things and I and I get the appreciation uh, that that I get the uh, the respect. I mean, Bald Matrix, Optibotamus, Prime ninety two. There are a lot of big names in toy reviewing uh, who who have seen my reviews. And they like my stuff. Even, you know, even Bald Matrix has written to me a couple of times. It's like, Ava, can you come back, please? I like watching your stuff. Um, I, I want to review. What's, what's stopping me from reviewing this? Damned if I know. Damned if I know. 
If I knew, I would take it by the throat and I would GTFO. What's, what's, like, I could review it. Like, I could stop shooting this video right now and shoot it. But I would be bored and just, uh, what am I going to say about it? I don't really, you know, I don't care. It's not that I tell a bad toy. It's, it's, it's weird. It's a weird toy. Um, it's not bad by any stretch. Or else I wouldn't have gotten it. But what's to stop me? I don't know. There's, there's, there's something up here. There's, like, legit this motion. There's something up here that's missing or that's just, I don't know what it is. And I've been fighting that for three and a half years. I mean, I only just, after a three year absence, just started reviewing, uh, Turbo Megazord. And, and then it took me a month and a half to review the Rescue Megazord. Well, why didn't you just do it the same day? It took me most of one day just to shoot the video footage for Turbo Megazord, and then it took me another day to edit. And that, by the way, yes, was in between bouts of Guild Wars 2 and uh, SDGO and just Transformers and blah, blah, blah in general. But I used to be able to do an entire review from scratch. Photos, text, video, video editing, bam, up onto Collection DX, bam, up onto YouTube within a week. Or I could, do, I, I think the fastest turnaround I ever had was three days. Uh, I did, uh, was it the Star Trek, the original series, the Tricorder and the Communicator that I reviewed long ago. Um, I think I reviewed both of those, or I, I did those out within six days, which is the fastest turnaround I've ever had. I was damn proud of myself when I did it, too, because I got to use copyrighted music. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, that's another thing I need to do. I need I need to upgrade my opening, sequ opening video sequence. So... I don't have an answer, which which is dissatisfying. I know. I don't have an answer in terms of why I haven't been reviewing. Why, Ava, why are you not reviewing? It's complicated from my perspective. It's not an easy answer from my perspective. It's not a solid, well, Josh and I had a falling out. I'm not going to review for CDX. No. That's not it at all. No, that's 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 not it at all. Not at all. I'm, I'm still on good terms with Josh. I can write to him about anything I want to. So, you know, I'm good there. But it's it's up here that it's not working. And I, I don't know what it is. Is it, Ava, you're, you're growing up, you're growing out of toys? No. Because I wouldn't have put $190 into that. I wouldn't have put 300 and change into that. I actually got that on, on sale, by the way. Uh, Ava, uh, Confine Mode Ava. I, I put, you know, 30 or 40 into that. I'm still collecting. I've got... Um, What's that one? I've got a, it's not Masterpiece in Lego, but I've got a Collector's Edition R2-D2. You know, it stands about this tall, and it's got all the gimmicks in it. I got that over a year ago, and I still haven't reviewed it, and no one else on, on CDX reviewed I've got uh, Benny's Spaceship, Spaceship, Spaceship from uh, the Lego movie. I've got that. It's still in the box. <sighs> Sealed. This came out, what, two years ago? This is still sealed. I've got, I've got Fall of Cybertron Grimlock still sitting in the box. I've got an animated swindle, deluxe animated swindle, still sitting in the box. Um, what else have I got? Um, yeah. I've, I've got, I've got, uh, uh, Titan Class Metroplex, he's been open to play with. Um, I even shot, I, I shot an unboxing for him. The unboxing's over on, on, or did I? No, I did an unboxing, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't post it. So yeah, I actually, I actually do have Metroplex. Um, which is a good toy, like I didn't like, I didn't care for G1 Metroplex, I don't really care for this, re like this redesign is amazing. I got him because he exists to support the cause. Um, and I got, oh, okay. So, yeah, why am I not reviewing? It's up here, whatever it is. Ava, are you growing out of toys? No. Are you growing out of reviewing? Are you, are, have you risen above it? Well, what have I evolved into, if that's the case? What, 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 if reviewing is below me, what's the next step above that? As far as I'm concerned, there isn't. Josh offered me the opportunity many years ago, many years ago, 
when I was included in the CDX staff, do you want to be do you want to be involved in the the goings on behind Collection DX? Do you want to be involved in finance and advertising? Do you want to be revolved in, in, revolved? Yeah. Do you want to be involved in posting news articles? Do you want to be review, uh, involved in um, in interviews? Do you want to be involved in you know? Do do you want to do those things? And I, consciously, I said, no, thank you. I'm good where I am, just as a reviewer. That that that's good enough for me. Keep me keep me apprised of some of the goings on. Not because I'm a not because I'm a busybody. On the contrary, but you know, let me know if if there's a big shake up at CDX or something like that. Keep me involved in that particular loop. If you're going to call me staff, then you know, keep me at, at, at that. Keep me informed. That was a conscious choice at the time, and I don't regret that choice. I still don't want to do marketing. I don't want to do finance. I don't want to do all those other deals and going on behind the scenes, making arrangements with uh, with support companies and things like that. Just just give me the reviews, and I'm good. And give me my little niche, and I'm fine. Transformers, Super Sentai, Lego, um, Star Trek. I'm pretty much the only Trekkie posting anything, and the last time I did that was, what, five years ago? So, um, so yeah, that's that's what I've been doing, and I th I, I just ran out of steam. That happens, and I, I'm pretty sure this video is over an hour, which which Josh is going to kill me. But apparently, some people dislike the long video reviews, and some people love the longer, in-depth, detailed video reviews, and some people actually like the rants. I, hey, you know what? I like the rants too. <laughs> but uh, yeah, a, a long video. Here it is. I keep I keep making this joke. You know, I don't like the sound of my own voice. I don't actually. When I hear my voice playing back to me through speakers, I, even after was it nine years later of of doing the own, my own editing and listening to myself on YouTube, like I still sound weird. Like really, that's what I sound like. Hmm. Um. And no, you don't get used to it. You just kind of. Because, like, to me, my voice is my voice is kind of way up here. For everybody, for everybody else, it sounds, it sounds like I'm way down here whenever I'm talking on, on YouTube. I'm like, really? That's what I sound like? Hmm. But, yeah, I've burned out. Uh, and and I've probably, it's probably taken me an hour. But, you know, then again, I am known for making long videos. Apparently, people don't mind long videos. How long is this particular video going to stay on YouTube? I would say until it's no longer relevant. So it can sit there for a week. Uh, I hope it doesn't sit there for just a week because it takes longer than a week for most people to know notice my videos. Well, nowadays it does. But having a face video, face to face video, that that's different. I think I'll leave that one up to Josh. Not sure. So yeah, I've burned out. I've run out of things to talk about, or at least I've run, the the subject has been burned out. So please stop. Please, and like I said, I should have done this years ago. Please stop bugging the Collection DX staff. Please, and, and, and stop posting the comments on YouTube on Collection DX asking where's Ava, when's Ava going to come back. As of this video, you are updated. You are current with what's going on. You are current with where is Ava. You are current with why is Ava not reviewing. This is it. Am I going to review Ninja? I would like to review it. I would love to review it. But I can't. And I don't know why. Whatever the next Super Sentai is, will I review that? It's too early to say. I I never did answer Josh and, and Sentai Seiya and J-Man. They're the ones who have kind of picked up the slack while I've been gone. They asked me in November, Ava, would you like to review Ninja? And I said, I'm going to test myself to see if it's possible for me, if it's possible for me to just, if it, it, after a three-year absence, is it even possible for me to review and to do it well? I don't know. I'm not confident enough to do it. Let me do this test of these Power Ranger Turbo reviews, and we'll see after that. I still haven't given them an answer. So, up here, I would like to review Ninja. No, here, I, I want to review Ninja, and I love Ninja, but there's something up here getting in the way, and I can't put my finger on it. I can't, I can't get my reviewing engine going again. 
So that's that's what's up with me. Um, I am still I'm I'm making infrequent uh, videos on my channel, so you can look me up there. That's that that's that's where you'll find me the most active. Um, I haven't done any videos for uh, Guild Wars uh, two yet. I've, my my computer's been having to go through some software upgrades. Um, I've been talking to uh, another YouTuber, Wacky Modder eighty four, who uh, his his real job his job in real life is uh, computer tech. He's a computer maintenance tech. So uh, I've been talking to him, and I'm slowly upgrading my computer. And by slowly, I mean I'm slowly getting the funding from a part-time job to upgrade my stuff. Um, so, um, yeah, that's what I've been doing. I think I'm going to stop here rather than going on um, for the next 15 minutes. So, this is Ava Unit 4A. Thank you for all of your support. I appreciate it, and I just... Thank you for the support. Uh, continue to push. Who knows, maybe in three years I'll review the DX Daikaiyo. <laughs> this is Aviunit4A saying thanks for tuning in.